So in the night, I was doing some thinking, and I decided that I wanted to plug weld along this center line right here. And no, I didn't mark these out because they're just gonna be plug welds. We're gonna use this big old drill that I have laying around. Uh, I'm gonna um, send in maybe an eighth as a pilot, and then I'll drill the rest. And I just took a, um, a punch to get those. They're close enough. I call that good eye certified, it's close enough. Uh, I could have even staggered them. The one thing I was thinking about doing was staggering them. But I think down the middle is going to be okay. And the reason for that is we're going to send more heat into this solid 2-inch bar doing it that way. Now I've cut this guy to size. He'll live like this. We're going to grind away. And yes, I need to get some of this goo out of the way that I used for lubricating when I was drilling. I'm going to grind that weld back just a smidgen. This will live in here. It'll tie when I burn the top and burn the bottom. It'll... Um, it'll tie the two pieces together. Then I made these nice two little tabbies that are going to live up here. And then I'll send the bolt through the little tabs. And they'll live like that, except biased over just a smidgen. And I um, beveled the edges a little bit so they look nice. Well, that's how she's going to go. It should be super easy. And it should hold plenty of lateral, vertical, and downward pressure on the fair lead without bending, I think it'll be just fine. So we're gonna get to it right now. Well guys, we're there. We got a little tabs on, I'm gonna leave them like that. Never hurts to have somewhere to be able to grab it, or I don't know, never know when you have a future use for something. It's not hurting anything, these little tabs that don't weigh anything. Well, this is how she's gonna look. We'll be able to burn her in, no problem. I got this drilled to plug weld it. Two there, two there. And then, what's that, five there. We'll burn it in in here. Connect everything together, we'll burn in down here. And we'll be all set. I think this is shaping up pretty nicely. I don't think we'll have any trouble with that. So we'll get to welding, we'll go from there. I think we'll start with, uh, let me start with the tabs. Then work the heat around maybe. Do the plug welds first, let those cool off a little bit, then burn these sides in. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It'll be fun regardless. There's absolutely nothing more satisfying than doing plug welds. I don't know what it is about them. They're so much fun. I did have to do a little bit of cover pass on this one. I wasn't happy when I first, the first pass I did had a little bit of porosity. I think it's because of the angle I was holding the gun at, the, uh, the argon was getting maybe blown out of the way or maybe it was being blocked from getting the part because of the angle I had the gun on. And what I'm, what I'm getting is I had it at a huge angle like this and I think the argon was not protecting the weld like it should. So we have that moved over. So now we have the tube pretty securely fastened here. And these plug welds are helping hold this plate, um, or I mean this angle bracket down here. Then we have our holes for our winch footprint right there. So hopefully, because of this, our winch mounting will get transferred to everything in a very nice way. So I'm gonna weld these really quick. Then I'm gonna turn to welding the verticals for the little tabby tabs for the uh, winch fairly. So that's next. So I did go ahead and take this in a few steps. I welded there and there first. Whoopsies. There to there. And then I welded there which, and there. And then I welded there and there to move the heat around. Now we turn our attention to the front. So I just opted to fully weld this. I did a root and a cover. Should be good enough. Ignore any stragglers. It's not perfectly clean material. Let's see if we can get this really thing flipped over here. Yeah. 
So I think we're in pretty good shape. Now this has to cool. We gotta clean up this face right here because this is the face that the fair lead is going to go to and I'm pretty sure the fair lead is flat in the back. So we're gonna very carefully take a flex wheel and just flatten these out so they're flush. Should be good to go. I'll do is take a grinder too and clean up some of the little stragglies. This is mostly scrap metal, so or was scrap, so it is not perfect, but it is strong. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That's how I tackled this project. And now we're gonna let it cool and get it all hooked up. Actually, technically we gotta drill. Once we flatten these, we're gonna drill tabs right there and right there for the fair lead face and then we will get coded we'll move on from there so thanks all for tuning in